John Sullivan. I'm from Newport, Rhode Island. I'm a R&B and soul singer-songwriter, and my message is to help people look for answers in music and try to figure out themselves by listening to my music. Creatively, I feel like I'm in a huge spot for me. I'm at my prime, and I'm coming up with really great ideas, and I enjoy doing what I do. Facebook Portrayal was a really huge project for me. It took a lot of time and a lot of emotion and a lot of effort. I put my heart and soul into that project, and I think it came out the way I wanted it to, and it sounds the way I wanted it to, and that's all that matters to me. But I do think uh, I should have promoted it a little more, and I wish more people looked at it because it has a really great message. Um, I mean, the public gave me some good feedback and told me, you know, they really liked the music. But the problem I had was, you know, nobody was really sharing it and helping me share it. And I was kind of a one-man gang here, uh, out here with me and Clue, and we're just, you know, trying to push my EP, and, you know, nobody's really listening to it, but, I mean, it's it's really, really a lot, of, a lot of good music, and I think if you haven't yet, you should definitely check it out. Um, my favorite part of making my CD was writing the music because I get into a zone where it's like nobody can touch me. I feel like I'm invincible and it's almost like I'm on a different planet and there's nothing stopping me and it's just me and the beat. And we kind of work together and sync, uh, synchronize and we make it a good little orchestra, I guess you could say. My favorite song from the EP is definitely Trap and that's track number five. Um, and the reason being is because I feel like it's at a whole different spot in my life and <clears throat> the rest of the mixtape was written at an earlier part of my life and Trap kind of sums it all up and shows you where I'm at uh, towards the end of that whole wh when I was making the project and I feel like it really just uh, gives you a good insight of, insight of who I am. Uh, my least favorite song definitely is Seasons just because I feel like it's really repet a repetitive melody even though I mean I put it out because it was catchy and a lot of people did like the song and it's most people's favorite song from the CD but personally I think it was just boring and I could have worked a little harder on that song it was just really long and repetitive with the melody so yeah I know for next time what not to do if I could do tasteful portrayal again I think I'd either take more time on it or I would put more songs on it. And the reason being is because I almost feel like the reason a lot of people didn't listen to it is because there wasn't a lot of material and there wasn't a lot of, you know, really good poppy songs on it. I mean, there was only six songs. So in the end of the day, it was just like, <clears throat> why, why are you gonna take the time to listen to one or two bangers on a, a CD when, you know, some people out there have eight or 10 bangers on their CD. So I think I should have, you know, put a little more effort into it and, uh, stretch it out a little longer. Well, basically, um, for short-term goals, I'm trying to make some music videos, and I'm trying to come out with another CD this summer, and that's to be announced. I can't talk about the title or anything, but I already have the songs ready, and I'm ready to go with that, so I've, I'm really excited about that. I'm on a whole other creative level than I was, and uh, long-term, I'm just really trying to push my music out there and get the world to know me. Um, I'm probably going to be going to this, you know, same studio that I've been going to, Cyber Sounds in Boston, and probably going to record it there. And I, I think it's just, uh, it's going to be a little different because last time it was my first project, so I was just, you know, getting my feet wet, and I didn't really, you know, I didn't really know what to expect when I dropped the album, and uh, I learned what it was like to get a public reaction. So now, this time around, when I drop a CD, it's gonna be a lot different. I'm gonna be a lot more prepared. I'm gonna know what to do. And hopefully, um, in the upcoming months, I'm gonna be doing some live shows. Um, my favorite artist right now is Kanye West, just because uh, he's just really creative. And I think the ideas he comes up with are just unbelievable out of this world, and he's probably the only person that can come up with this shit like that so I mean like I, I'm kind of inspired by him and I look up to him so
that's why he's my favorite artist because he's doing it big and he's doing his thing. So I really, uh, I really like the way he presents himself. And my favorite song right now, I would say has. <laughs> This might be funny to you, but <laughs> I think it's a uh, t-shirt by the future just cuz uh, I don't know It's a really hype song. It gets me going. So pretty it's, catchy. Yeah, it's a catchy <laughs> song <laughs> Twitter is at it's J two S's J A Y I got Facebook at John Sullivan Instagram underscore John Sullivan and you can check me out reverb nation and check all my songs out my whole EP tasteful portrayal and it's John Sullivan four all right, we're cool, cool, cool. You want to do like a little? Yeah, thing? can I can I do something for you real yeah, quick? Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> All right, well, this is gonna be a song that's uh coming up on my next project. It goes a little something like this. Every time I looked at you, I felt like I couldn't breathe. Every time I looked at you, I forgot what it meant to be me. We argued, we shout, please stop getting loud. I see you moved on, hope you make mama proud. I don't see nothing who's holding you down. I hope that you hear this and don't make a sound. I fell for you, huh, you thought I would drown. Hope you get hurt by this love that you found. Got yours now where you know girls come around. Five, four, six hits, bitch, you know I can count. And that's all I'm gonna give y'all. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, shout out to Claudie, Claudie B. Shout out to your culture, you are culture, the whole blog. Sean West, Rob DeSantos, uh, Larry Hurley, Zeta Fly, and the whole team. And if you haven't already, Check out my EP, Tasteful Portrayal. It's on Reverb Nation, SoundCloud, Twitter at IsJ, Facebook, John Sullivan. And check me out.